These general purpose input output ports are found on every device with the GPIO feature. There are 12 GPI and 6 GPO. The 12 GPI ports allow the SoundWeb London to be controlled using any of three simple electrical components. Contact closures for control of binary parameters such as mutes. Resistor ladders for control of multi-state parameters such as source selectors. and analog potentiometers for control of continuous parameters, such as volumes. The electrical component connects between either of the two common ports and any one of the 12 GPI ports. If you're using potentiometers, it's a little bit easier and therefore recommended to use 47 kiloohm logarithmic potentiometers, but there are two reference ports which allow you to use linear potentiometers if needed. Using GPI ports, you can assemble your own analog controller, or you could even order a prefabricated analog controller from BSS. The six GPO ports allow the SoundWeb London to control external devices using voltage. Each GPO port can be told to turn off, generating no voltage, or to turn on, sourcing 10 milliamps at 5 volts. This is useful for turning on and off external LEDs or opening and closing external relays. Each GPO port can also sync up to 60 milliamps at up to 50 volts when connected to an external power supply. This is useful if you need to control higher current and voltage. The opto isolator is a non-programmable pair of pins which conduct when the device is powered and functioning normally, otherwise it gets cut off. This is useful for high-level fault monitoring of the device. Now let's say you have a two-device system consisting of a Blue 326 and a Blue 806. As long as the Ethernet control network is intact, this means you have a unified 24 by 12 GPIO system. In other words, any of the 24 GPI can be used to control any parameter, regardless of where the parameter physically lives. And likewise, any of the 12 GPO can also be controlled by any parameter anywhere in the system. For example, an analog potentiometer connected to a GPI on the blue 326 can control a volume parameter within the block diagram of a blue 806. And another example, a mute parameter within the blue 806 can control an LED on a GPO on the blue 326. The Blue GPX is a GPIO expander, which is very useful for high GPIO count applications. The Blue GPX offers 36 GPI and 23 GPO. Let's say you have a three device system consisting of a Blue 326, a Blue 806, and a Blue GPX. This would be a 60 by 35 GPIO system. The Blue GPX also uniquely offers eight integrated relays, which can be told to physically move to open or close a circuit, 48 programmable tri-color red, green, yellow front panel LEDs, and a four kilohertz piezo buzzer for audible indications. The Blue GPX is configured, controlled, and monitored, and also optionally powered via PoE through either of the two Ethernet ports. There's also a 12 volt DC connector for backup power. Lastly, the Blue GPX, like all devices with the logic processing feature, has the ability to perform conditional logic, also known as if-then statements. This is an incredibly powerful block diagram based system found in nearly all SoundWeb London devices. With logic processing, you can set up conditional logic, which, for example, recalls a preset if it's a certain hour on a certain day. Or you could light up an LED if a certain volume level gets too loud. 
Or you could even send custom Ethernet messages or serial strings or GPO voltage to control external devices such as projectors, video switchers, pan-tilt-zoom camera systems, etc. The possibilities are practically endless.